So do I get a pass to get in there or? Well, this space is right now held for just black folks. Oh, just black, okay. As you heard here, because you get tomorrow's news today on The Andrew Clavin Show, as you heard, things went south in Seattle with what is now called the CHOP, the organized protest, because they didn't like it being the autonomous zone, because when you're autonomous, you can't get your welfare and your cops. You know, you can't get all those things that you get from the governor. government. So here's the way CNN, here's the way the news media has been covering this interspersed from our friends at, uh, at Newsbusters. Uh, they put out this montage. It's interspersed with little bits of reality. But here's the way that the news media has been covering Seattle uh, versus a little bit of reality. It's cut 12. Has there been violence there? No, it's largely peaceful. Rapes, robberies, and all sorts of violent acts that have been occurring in the area that we're not able to get to. The Seattle Times is calling this an experiment in alternative community. So do I get a pass to get in there, or? Well, this space is right now held for just black folks. Oh, just black, okay. It feels like you're at a street festival, quite frankly. You have barbecues going on. He's He's gonna gonna come back in. There's hot dog stands. There's gardening taking place. So now, faced with growing pressure to crack down on an occupied protest zone following two weekend shootings, Seattle's mayor said Monday that officials will move to wind down the block's long span of city streets, taken over two weeks that President Donald Trump asserted is run by anarchists, but only because it's run by anarchist mayor Jenny Knucklehead Durkin said the violence was distracting from it was distracting. The violence was distracting. I was reading. I was reading and then there was violence and I was distracted. It was distracting from the changes sought by thousands of the mostly peaceful rioters, the mostly peaceful rioters who oppose racial inequity and police brutality and don't know anything about those things, but do want to spread Marxists, which they also know nothing about. So so what happened to the block party in the summer of love, right? What happened to the block party? It doesn't work. Things don't work. I always tell you, reality has a voice. Reality is slowly beginning to reassert itself. And this is like an important thing. If the economy should continue to come back, which I think it will, and I've thought it has. Remember, this is something I've been thinking is going to happen from the beginning. I I said, you know, the economy was shut down for, for false reasons, and now there's no reason for it not to come back. There's except for, of course, the slow uh, release of people from their uh, houses. As that comes out, as that slows, as that keeps going, the economy, I believe, will come back. And that is going to help Donald Trump as well. The press is going to do everything they can to stop it because they want to do any. They don't care if the economy crashes. They don't care if you're starving. What they care about is whether uh, Trump gets defeated. And that's what you're going to see.